Hey guys, welcome back to Harmon's Lego Creations. This is part 13, I think. So today I'll be showing you two of my creations. One I made like a, maybe a week ago or a couple, and one I just made now. So first of all, I'll show you this incredible auto I made. So this thing is really, really cool. So I made the front wheel, which is pretty unique. It's kind of hard. Not every Lego, a new Lego designer cannot do this at all. I don't think he can get the idea, but, but let me show you how this was actually put on. So as you can see, I used I used a Lego Technic pin, the one that actually moves around more than the black one. And I used one of those um pieces. You just stick that in. Wait, you don't have to use that. You can also use a different one, but I just use that. And then I just stick in this very fat tires. The fat tires work well. And the um thin ones also work, except you have to use one of those bigger pins than such a little one. And I just stick this on, and I had to make it nice and tall so the wheel actually has a tiny gap to spin. So that's pretty cool of the auto. And I put two more wheels behind it because that's the way autos look because it can't balance if you have just another one of these behind it. So I put this on. Oh, the fire. So as you can see, it stands pretty well. It just kind of wobbles a little bit. And I put some steps on the auto to get on because it's kind of high up. And yeah, this I like the way the staircase is. It's kind of cool. But I just hope that wheel doesn't move or else it could get in trouble. <laughs> but, yeah, okay, I'll open the inside. I also did a lot of details in the inside, too. It's actually pretty cool. With that, I put, like, there's a captain seat where the driver of the auto sits. I don't think actual Lego minifigures can fit. And I put a steering wheel. I remember I used that for my dragster. And it's such a cool steering wheel because there's a little front um dot on it that if you press it, it honks. And guys, we really need to get up to subscribing, so please sub to, to, to the channel because I'm pretty excited about how many videos I'll be making when I'm subbing. I'll, yo, I'll, I'll see all your comments down below, and it'll be so cool. So, yeah. So that's one of my creations, and I put one seat over here. I just Hopefully, the Lego minifigure, when he steps in, he can sit over there, or he can just squeeze over there and sit in the very back. There's two seats in the back and one seat in the front. Yeah, it's, I don't think as many as people you think can sit in the back and stuff, but it still works. I just, I just wish, yeah, I think, guys, when I'm done with this video, I may as well change the captain seat to exactly these passenger seats because it'll look better. Well, anyway, guys, that's the auto I made, and I put some windshields behind it, too. And I use, for this wheel, for these tires, I put one of these pieces. It's not really that special, honestly, but the front one is kind of unique. So now I'll just put the back on. And you have to use a, a big brick. I just used a 1 by 2 brick and a 1 by 3 bit brick. Okay, well that's done. And I put more, like, seats in the front. I made those, like, thingies. I, I think I used to make lego toilets out of those thingies see those pieces guys i used to make lego toilets out of them they're pretty good to use toilets but <laughs> yeah they're kind of funny but still i use them to make my auto i think i should make the seat seat the seats a little bit shorter so actual people can sit inside yeah actually that's a good idea i mean we'll make the seats a little shorter and i put this thing where you know when, when you look under the car they kind of have that thingy i don't know well and I have the nice tires, too. They look pretty nice. Yeah, that's my auto. I didn't want to really use rainbow bricks, but I guess I had no other choice. Okay, well, guys, that auto is done. We'll just put the roof back on. And there's, like, this gap of the roof coming out. And I didn't really like that, but it'll do whatever. Oh, um, oh that auto is gone. This creation next is cooler than the auto, so hopefully you guys like it. It's a Batmobile. I made it for my brother. So I, I, made, I, I got a Lego set with a Batman. I got maybe like two. I didn't get them. My brother did. And I used one of the pieces of it, and I put them on. 
Oh, wait. Is that a windshield? I hope that's not a windshield over there. Because if it is, I, I that's trouble. Because I need that to be on um, the Batmobile here. So this is actually just a mini thing. I don't know. Like the windshield. Whatever. That's not really a big deal. It's just kind of cool. And I put these because I didn't really have to time to find some of those other bricks. But, yeah. And I had an actual Batman minifigure. So, here he is, guys. I had an actual Batman minifigure. So, he's pretty cool. I'll just put him back on. And I also have two exhaust pipes. Actually, no. A lot of exhaust pipes. Because you guys know this is Batman we're talking about here. So, his vehicle is extremely powerful. So, two exhaust pipes up here. I don't think that's an exhaust pipe. I don't know what it is. But maybe you can just... It's really, really something. I mean, if it, if it were an exhaust, exhaust pipe, there should be something on the other side. Because there's literally nothing. It's just going through. But there's actually something in those holes over there. But literally nothing. But I just call it as a Lego. That means saying hi to you guys. That means say hi to the log. Oh, guys. What's up? Okay, so, and I have a jet engine up here, and I have one of the other powerful exhausts with the jet engine, and I had these very unique tires I put on, and these things spin, these are pretty nice tires, I really like the tires of this Batmobile, and it's a simple put on, and see, it runs perfectly fine, and I put some lights on the front, and I don't know why, this is probably the only piece I found, and I didn't know what to put here, so I guess it's just a cool design. I really wanted to put it down, but I didn't really have time, because if I tried to put it down, look what happened. It's a mini crack. I have to be super specific of Legos, if I want to actually be a Lego designer when I'm a grown-up. So, and see all those pieces I put under flat? I just made that so it will look like more better when it like jumps over something. So you can see the under of the mobile, but it looks better when, well, it looks nice when the sides of the wheels are really like that, but here it doesn't really look good. So I decided to put a couple features in, as you can see, that's a, it's diagonal colors, pretty cool. And that, those white pieces, I think I just put on for fun. They look pretty good. And I made the Batmobile seat with that, so then the Batman the mat the batman minifigure can get off pretty easily and get on pretty quickly and i got a gray steering wheel i can't believe how i got so lucky to find a gray one because that's exactly the one i needed all right well you guys take care i'm gonna wrap it up from here and remember i'll see you in the next vlog and stay happy and don't be sad Woo! Um.